What's up guys, Matt's Lego Films here and today we have all the Lego sets that I bought in 2021. We got tons of stuff. I am really excited to go over this with you guys. If you want to see the rest of my collection, be sure to click the card uh, up on the screen so you guys can go check out that video because you can basically watch those, I believe it was like three or two videos, and then watch this video and add it all up and you will be able to see my over 100 set large collection. So, really, really excited to go over this with you guys. Let's begin with the minifigures. All right, as you guys can see, we have a full base plate set up of minifigures. Let's just go over it from the front. Starting off here at the front, we have the gonk droid. You know, we have to pay tribute to the gonk droid, so he has to be at the front. Anyway, I, I started off, like, here from the front is all the Marvel stuff. In the back is Star Wars. That's just how it turned out. But let's start off here. We have the What If collection. We got three figures from What If, at least from the one What If set that I got. We got Red Skull, Steve Rogers, and Captain Carter. In the back, we have a Batman. And then we move on to the Shang-Chi collection. We have two Morris figures, two Shang-Chi figures, two Wen Wu figures, a Death Dealer, Still don't know how to pronounce this person's name, Katie and Razor Fist. Here we have the new Asgard collection with Korg, Brothor, and then Meek here in the front. And here we have the Marvel CMF series. We have Throg riding Alligator Loki. We have Wanda, Winter Soldier, Captain America, Sylvie, Loki, Gamora, Zombie Captain America, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, and uh, Star-Lord, T'Challa Star-Lord. So a really nice Marvel collection I have got here at least that I have grown in 2021. I believe this is around 28 Marvel figures in total. So, really, really nice. Now, let's move on to Star Wars. Starting off here, we have the Mandalorian army in the front. We have the armor, Gar Saxon, and Bo-Katan. You can see her hair piece right there. And then in the back, we have the one Clone Wars Mandalorian. I have managed to get this here, Paz Vizsla, as well as the Mandalorian loyalist. So, six Mandalorians right here. We also have six Bounty Hunter figures. Even though Boba Fett is not a bounty hunter, he is a crime lord now. So he gets to stand right here at the front. We also have Fennec Shand, his right hand. And then Grief Karg on the left because he is also a leader of the Guild of Bounty Hunters. Also, we have Dengar, Cara Dune, and IG-11 in the back as well. Plus, here we have five Rebellion figures. General Dodonna, Leia, Han, Luke, and R2-D2. Right here we have the one sequel figure, which is the Resistance Trooper. In the back, we have two Tusken Raiders. And here we have my Imperial Collection. In the back, we have three Stormtroopers, one more regular Stormtrooper here, as well as the Scout Trooper, the Artillery Stormtrooper, the TIE Pilot, the Dark Trooper, Annihilate. And at the front, we have Moff Gideon, and next to him, we have this probe droid, as well as the Morgan. Anyway, here we have the clones that I have, that I managed to get in 2021. I do count Crosshair as a clone, but as you guys can see in the back here, we have Hunter, Crosshair, Echo. Then we have Wrecker and Tech. Then we have this plain Phase 1 Clone Wars Clone Trooper. My three Clone Army Customs Clone Troopers that I've managed to get. Commander Cody, his alternate helmet. You also have the two alternate hair pieces for Hunter and Tech. You also have F Commander Fox, Commander Wolf with his alternate helmet, and then Commander Gree at the front because he is the only official LEGO Clone Trooper Commander that I have gotten this year. 
Anyway, moving on, here we have my five Mando figures that I have gotten. One with a cape and a Beskar spear. One with a blaster and a pulse rifle. Another one with a blaster and a pulse rifle, I believe. And this one actually comes with a jetpack and not a cape. Another one with a pulse, I mean, this is the first one with a pulse rifle and a Beskar spear. And in the front, we have the one from the advent calendar with the scarf. And then here we have my three Grogu's that I have managed to get this year. We have two regular Grogu's and one from the advent calendar, which is the cutest of them all. Anyway, moving on to the actual builds. Here we have the good guy build, starting off here with the Marvel stuff. Here we have the Great Protector, the Hydra Stomper, Brothor's apartment or house. We have the car from the Shang-Chi Escape from the Ten Rings set. And that's the Marvel stuff. Moving on to the Star Wars stuff, starting off here with the small builds from the Advent Calendar. Here we have the Razor Crest, Grogu's little carriage. We have one of these... I guess you can say, uh, weapon racks, we have the speeder from the Bad Batch shuttle, we have this land speeder, this speeder, as well as a mini version of the X-Wing, which is standing right here in front of the big X-Wing. We also have a Mandalorian Starfighter in the back, the Bad Batch shuttle, the Microfighter Millennium Falcon. And that is basically the good side of things. Moving on here to the I guess I call it neutral side. Starting off here, we have the Slave One, the Mandalorian Forge in the back, the Trouble on Tatooine here in the back, as well as a mini Ballista and a nice little build that we got for the Tusken Raider in the Advent Calendar. And moving on to the bad guys. Starting off here, we have the TIE Fighter, the small version right in front of it. In the back here, we have Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser, small version, also right in front of it. Here we have the Imperial Armored Marauder, small version, also in front of it. And as you can see, this does not look like the Imperial Armored Marauder at all. I have no idea what they were doing here. But also, we have these two targets. We have the E-Web Blaster, Crosshair Speeder, another speeder for the Scout Trooper, this ship, and a nice little weapons rack with the little hole that you can look through. And then here we have the bad guy Marvel stuff with the two motorcycles for the 10 rings, the nice little weapon rack, as well as the two little gun builds, which are pretty cool. Sorry for the bad lighting, but here we have the backlog of 2021, two 501st battle packs, the Batman B Tumblr Scarecrow Showdown, Jedi Fallen Order, a Mando Battle Pack, a Lando Calrissian Black Series figure, and then right here we have the Batmobile, the Penguin Chase, and the Darth Vader Collection. Jedi Fallen Order, a Lando Calrissian, this, this, and this are foreshadowing of videos to come in 2022, so be sure to subscribe for that. But yeah, that is my very, very small backlog as of 2020 anyway guys that is it for today's collection video this isn't my full collection this is just everything i got in 2021 as i have mentioned in the beginning of the video but yeah let me know what lego sets did you get in 2021 which one was your favorite and also let me know what you think of my collection down in the comments below but yeah, with that said, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you will have a amazing 2022. Hopefully COVID will end soon. And hopefully those PS5s will be, be available to everybody. But yeah, that is it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.